Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to today's devotion for February 2nd. Today's devotion is titled Pruned to Thrive. And here comes the cat. I tell you, every time I do devotion, she comes to see me. Um, the Bible reading is from John chapter 15, verses 1 to 12. I am the true vine, and my father is the gardener. He cuts off every branch in me that bears no fruit. Well, every branch that does bear fruit, <clears throat> he prunes so that it will be even more fruitful. You are already clean because of the word I have spoken to you. Remain in me as I also remain in you. No branch can bear fruit by itself. It must remain in the vine. Neither can you bear fruit unless you remain in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. If you do not remain in me, you are like a branch that is thrown away and withers. Such branches are picked up, thrown into the fire, and burned. If you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask whatever you wish and it will be done for you. This is to my Father's glory, that you bear much fruit, showing yourselves to be my disciples. As the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. Now remain in my love. If you keep my commands, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commands and remain in his love. I have told you this, so that my joy may be in you, and that your joy may be complete. My command is this, love each other as I have loved you. Sorry about the notification, guys. I just silenced my volume. I forgot to do that. All right, moving on. As I watched a bumblebee land lightly on the Russian sage, I marveled at the bush's lush branches exploding with color. Its brilliant blue blossoms attracted eyes and be attracted eyes and bees alike. Yet only last fall, I'd wondered if it would ever blossom again. When my wife's parents trimmed the periwinkle plant down to a stub, I'd assumed they decided to get rid of it. But now I was witnessing the radiant result of pruning that had seemed brutal to me. The surprising beauty that results from harsh cuts may be one of the reasons Jesus chose pruning imagery to describe God's work among believers. In John 15, he says, I am the true vine, and my Father is the gardener. Every branch that does bear fruit, he prunes, so that it will be even more fruitful. Jesus' words remind us that in the good times and bad, God is always working in us towards spiritual renewal and fruitfulness. During pruning seasons of suffering or emotional barrenness, we may wonder if we'll ever thrive again, but Christ encourages us to continue to stick close to him. No branch can bear fruit by itself. It must remain in the vine. Neither can you bear fruit unless you remain in me. As we continually draw spiritual nourishment from Jesus, the resulting beauty and fruitfulness in our lives will show the world God's goodness. How have you seen God use struggle in your life to, pr to produce growth and fruitfulness? How do you think time gives us the perspective to see God's hand at work in our lives? Thank you for joining me for today's devotion, and I hope you all have a wonderful day.